evening everyone. Today I am in Hanoi in one of the major uh, tourist attractions which is called Hoang Tin Lake. This lake is one of the most scenic lakes in uh, Hanoi. This is also called the uh, Lake of Seoul or the Lake of Restored Seoul. It's very beautiful. It has a good history. So let's explore the uh, the lake and the surrounding today. By the way, when I join uh, Hanoi, one of the best ways to explore the city is through this hop on hop of city tour services. They are amazing. They will take you to pretty much many famous tourist attractions. It's ideal to book a two days trip, which would cost on today's date is around 650 dongs. This is very reasonable for a huge city trip. The bus is always available every 30 minutes. Hotian Lake is a freshwater lake covering an area of 12 hectares in the historical center of Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. The lake was formerly known as Green Lake due to the color of the water. As the legend goes, after defeating the Ming Dynasty in 1428, King Leloi, when boating on the Green Lake, met a golden turtle god asking for the return of a magic sword. The king concluded that the turtle god came to reclaim the sword that Dragon King had given him earlier to defeat the Chinese. After returning the sword back to the golden turtle god, King Leloi renamed the Green Lake to Hontian Lake to commemorate the event. This small tower on the Turtle Islet in the near southern end of Utian Lake is Turtle Tower. It was here the real turtle that lived in the lake climbed on for sunbath. This small tower was built in 1886 by a middleman working for the French. He told the people that he was building a tower to honor King Leloy. But his actual plan was to bury the bones of his deceased father under the tower, an unprovoked trick in Feng Shui to create good fortune for his own family. But the local builders secretly threw all the human remains away from the construction. They didn't like anyone working for the French. The three-story tower with no clear model was still completed and it stands to be an iconic monument of the city since then.
Situated on the eastern side of the center Hanoi, the lake is today about 500 meters away from the bank of the Red River. It is the capital Hanoi's number one scenic spot with a cluster of historical and cultural sites. Situated on the island in the north is Naksan Temple, which is dedicated to military commander Chan Han Dao, one of Vietnam's 14 national heroes, who distinguished himself by defeating two out of three major Mongolian invasions in late 13th century. The island is called Jade Island and it's connected to the shore with the red painted welcoming the morning sunlight bridge. Visitors need to pay a bit attention to able to recognize a stone tower called Tap Booth Writing Brush Tower at the entrance of Naxon Temple, which was shaped a writing brush. The tower was also built by the same Confucius scholar who built the Red Bridge in 1865. The writing brush is a symbol glorifying the importance of literature and encouragement for education that was often popular in Vietnam's feudal periods. A closer look to the tower will help visualize three Chinese characters which say right on the blue sky.
Visitors to Nok San Temple today besides seeing the beautiful ancient Vietnamese worshipping architecture can also view the two plastinated bodies of the soft-shelled refugees Leloy turtles kept in two separate cases. As a pity story, the last known individual turtle was found dead in 2016. There are three remaining turtles of the species, refugees Swain Hoi. The red painted wooden bridge connecting the Nakson temple with the shore is called Khao Te U in Vietnamese. It was first built in 1865 by Win Van Su, a local Confucius scholar as a personal contribution to the city. Since the bridge faces the east towards the sunrise with the meaning of receiving the full source of life, the bridge was always been painted red the color of life and happiness. Therefore, the bridge is always one of the Green Lake's iconic highlights.